Alright, we've got a brand new TCR22. This one hasn't ever even been fired. And you see the see the threaded barrel. These are great little guns. We, we love them to death. Uh, you see the rail built in. Last bolt hold open. Pretty cool. Magnapool stock. Peep sights. Extended bolt release. And you can see here's a Ruger BX mag. Fits perfect. These uh these are pretty much clones of a 1022, but with a lot more accessories. But like a 1022 or anything I've been a hold of, the trigger is not that great. So let's see what the what this trigger pulls out. That, that time it pulled about four and a half pounds and what I have here is some uh, some trigger springs from Kurt Baum from BaumsTC.com and we're going to put them in this gun and see what kind of difference it makes makes on the trigger pull so Make sure the chamber's clear, and it is. Let's uh, pull the stock off this thing. Just one Allen screw. And just like a 1022, before you pull the stock off, you have to take and center, try to get the safety center to allow the safety to come out of the stock. There it is, and you can see the insides of it's just about like a 1022. Next up, we have uh, two pins on this trigger group. One there, one there. They're both the same size, and they have to come out. You just take, I take my normal punts I use for encores and everything else. This one's a 332nd. It could be bigger. And I just tap, tap these. Um, Tap these two pins out. Now I'll tell if I tap them out all the way. And there's the trigger grip. Not a lot to it. Very, very similar, if not exactly the same as the 1022. And what we're going to end up doing is replacing this trigger return spring right there and then a sear spring here in the inside of it. Not that, that's the hammer spring. There's nothing wrong with that hammer spring. So let's start this. Step one, see how I move, the, move that forward? I'm going to drop this hammer spring out of it. I do have apparently nice pliers that will help get it out. See it come out right there? Nothing to it. Next up is we have this mag release spring right here. I've been into a few 1022s before, but this pin right here actually has a has a, has a key on it that prevents me from driving it out this way. So I'm going to try to drive it this way without having to try to take that key off of it. Really need a block or something to hold this up on, but I don't have one here with me. And it comes out, comes out easy. But notice how it doesn't come out all the way because it's caught by that key. So I'm just going to take this spring and try to reach in there and grab it. Actually, I'm going to use this tiny screwdriver and just move it out of the way and see it come it come loose and just remember when you put it back in that goes back underneath the spring all right before we go further with this spring now let's put it back in to hold this piece in place so it don't just fly out on us i put it back in but with the spring out and next we're going to move this sear pin 
On the other one we did, uh, we took it apart. This one went for a while. This spring under that trigger return spring went flying. So this time, I'm going to take some scotch tape. And I'm going to wrap around this thing. To try to catch that spring so it don't don't fly. Not that I'm going to reuse it. I just don't want it in the floor. There we go. Alright, so let's take our punch. And you usually can do this just by hand. And push out this sear spring. Or sear pin. Alright, lays down. Out this comes. Out comes your hammer. And that spring. Lay them over to the side. And now... We're going to take out this, and I spoke wrong with Lord Joe, oh, that was the hammer pin. This will be the sear pin right here, and this is the one when you take out, things could go flying. Push it out with the punch. Set it down over here so I don't lose it. Pull the punch out. I feel some stuff coming off on pressure. I'm going to find the pretty of the pliers. See how all that started falling out? The trigger, the sear, and here's that spring I was telling you about that would be under pressure that goes under that trigger. Okay, so this sear goes back in the hammer, like in so, and you have to manipulate a little bit so it goes in the right way. And this spring, the bound spring, ends up going in in between here, and you can see that little notch or hole, and there. So what I usually do on these for the ease of installation, you hold your mouth just right to get those in, is I find me a matchstick. And I will go ahead and put that matchstick in there. You'll understand why in a little bit to hold it. And then I'm going to break that matchstick off flush with the outside of the trigger. And it's going to act as a guide to hold this together when I drop it back in that trigger group as an assembly. So we put it back together just like it came apart with the new bound spring in it. And I have it captured with the matchstick. And you can kind of see how the sear engagement here works. Works pretty slick. Then our other spring goes on this detent right here. And that is the factory spring. So I'm going to pull it over here and leave it out of the way. And I'm going to get the bound spring and put it right here on that and remember it's going to go back in this frame in that hole right there but it does have pressure on it so we're going to take our trigger and remember where our matchstick goes it goes right there in that bottom hole we'll drop this trigger back into the assembly being careful not to lose anything. Try to line that up. And remember we're looking for the end of our matchstick. We're getting close. I need something to do. There we go. To manipulate this with a little bit. Stick is lined up. We'll find our pin. We're going to push it through and look our matchstick come out. So this one is getting close to being back together. See now the trigger and sear is back in the trigger group. So we're going to find our hammer and recall this spring. So 
so we're going to put our hammer back in and remember this spring and how it was oriented and remember this goes to the back of the gun where the actual hammer spring engages with it but we're not ready for the hammer spring yet and we're going to drop this into this trigger group just kind of manipulate around a little bit and remember we're going for that hole right there Then take your punch. Remember, we have that um, key right there, so we're going to push this pin back this way so it stops. Take this spring. I'm going to use this little screwdriver, it's easier. Pull it up and around and down where it goes. Put that back in. And we're looking at our hammer spring. And you see the hole it fits in down there fades back in there where it goes and now the gun will cock Good. now the gun should fire and on safety see that's fire and that trigger group is back together now it's as simple as taking this trigger group lining it back up where it goes because it wants to go home there we go her to pop in. I'm going to put our pins back in it. They're going to have to have a little bit of tap. And if they were back in the line out. And that one goes. And maybe lay this one around a little bit. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Whoop. Back together. Notice what happened. And, uh, Buffer spring there fell out on a uh, pin fell out on her. All right, so let's let's check this trigger. Let's see see what we've done to it. Uh, yeah, off safety. Let's see what our trigger pull is now. Now the chamber's clear. Got the stock back on. Cock the gun. Let's try to check the trigger pull. Remember, we started at, uh, I believe it's four and a half pounds. Look there. Two and a half pounds. Went from four and a half to two and a half. That's a 50% reduction in trigger pull. And the trigger feels good and smooth. Just another great product that's sold by Kurt Baum at BAMTC.com if you have a TCR22 I'd highly recommend this spring kit because it it does wonders to the trigger trigger on this little rifle and I'm, if I'm not mistaken those same springs would probably work in a conventional 1022 too but again if you want some of these springs and like the results give uh, give Kurt a call and uh, hang on here's these Here's actually his uh, here's actually his phone number and his contact information where you can get these things.